Sometimes while working on a WordPress project, you find that somewhere you have lost the track of creating a beautiful website and you just want to start all over again. Or if you are a beginner and you are just experimenting with different types of websites, themes and plugins and you just want to reset your website back to its default settings. So in this video, we will see how we can delete a WordPress website and reset it back to its default setting to start all over again. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillwill.com and here we learn easy step-by-step -step WordPress web designing without coding. So let us first check out the website that we are going to reset to its default settings. And this is the website which has the images. And I have created this website using the car spot theme. So let us see how we can reset this website back to its default WordPress settings. So to do that, let us hover over to the dashboard and go to the plugins and say add new. Here you just need to type in WP reset. And the first plugin that you will see is the WP reset most advanced reset tool for the WordPress. It is by the WP Factory Limited and it has more than 3 lakh installations. So let us install this plugin and activate it. Now if we scroll down to the tools section, you will see a new section WP Reset. And if you click on this now, you will see the WP Reset dashboard. So here you can see a table of content showing the tools that will be deleted and the tools which will not be deleted or touched by this plugin. So since we are using the free plugin, we will be referring to this content. And as per this table, if we reset our website now, it will not touch the media files, the current user, site title, WordPress address, site address, search engine visibility, time zone, site language, other database table, plugin files, MU plugin, drop-in files, theme files, all files in uploads, custom folders in WP content. So all these things won't be deleted if we reset this website using the free version. So before we proceed further, a word of caution that if we reset this website now, all our data and content will be gone. So if you have something on the website which you are not sure that you want to delete or not, you just need to ensure that you have taken a backup for your website using a proper backup plugin. The WP Reset also has a kind of a temporary arrangement called the snapshot. And if I click on this now, there is a section where we can create a snapshot for our website. But remember that snapshot is not an alternative for the website backup. So here you will see under the user created snapshot section, you will see a create snapshot button. And if I click on this now, it will create a snapshot for us. So I will just name this as snapshot one and I will say create snapshot. So it will start creating a snapshot, which is actually the copy of the existing website. So it has just created a snapshot for us and let us now go to the reset tool and 
see how we can reset our website. So here, if you scroll down, you will see that there is a section named the site reset. And now in this section, if we type reset and click on the reset site button, it will ask you, are you sure you want to reset the site? And if we now click on the reset WordPress, it will start resetting our website. And it's done. And you will immediately see the change on the WordPress dashboard. And if we now go to our website and refresh this page, you will see that our website has now been restored back to its default WordPress settings. And if I now go back to the dashboard, I can now go to the appearance and themes. And now if I wish, I can now easily delete the previous theme that I was using. Also under the plugin section, you will see that all our plugins are under the inactive section and there is only one active plugin, which is the WP Reset. And if you now go to the inactive plugins, you can easily select all the plugins and hit the delete button so that all your plugins will be deleted. So it is depending on what new type of website you are creating, you can delete the unwanted plugins. Also under the media library section, if you click on the media, you will see that the images have now been deleted from your website. If you check the pages, you will see that the default website also had only the simple page and the privacy policy page. And only these two pages are now available and we can start creating our website all over again after the reset. So hope this video was helpful to you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.